today I'll be reviewing the Neverfly Android Auto Apple CarPlay 2 DIN unit from AliExpress. First up, let's see what's inside the box. So you'll find the main head unit and everything else required for the installation, such as wiring harnesses, various cables, rear view cameras, GPS antenna and SIM card slots. Installing this unit is easier than expected. You do have to loosen up the center console and remove a few trim pieces to be able to access the screws holding in the stock unit. Once the stock unit is removed and disconnected, you simply have to match up the harnesses to the existing plugs. Although there's no instructions included and the wiring diagrams are only on the AliExpress listing, this is pretty much plug and play. If you can match the connectors, you can do this. Adding additional amplifiers is also pretty straightforward. The wiring harness and connectors are labeled and you can simply route the USB plugs through into your glove box. Firing the system up, the steering wheel controls work perfectly with the unit. You can adjust volume and skip tracks, just like the stock system. And in the unit itself, there are plenty of preloaded apps like YouTube and media players. But I was mainly interested in three things. Sound quality, Bluetooth phone connection and integration, and Android Auto for Waze and Spotify. First up, sound quality has improved significantly, even with my stock non-Bose speakers. Utilizing the built-in Equalizer app, as well as Spotify's internal EQ, really do allow for plenty of customizations for your audio needs. The Bluetooth integration also works really well. I had no problem pairing it, as well as keeping a stable connection. Android Auto also runs smoothly. Waze and Spotify work without any issues, making navigation and music streaming really easy. The unit does take about 60 seconds to boot up once the car starts, but once it's on, it connects quite quickly. It connects even faster if it is in a cold start. I really am quite happy with this unit, and although it's one of the cheaper options, I didn't intend to run multiple apps or use it for anything other than Waze and Spotify. It's perfect for my needs. You can also connect your own SIM card to this and enjoy a full Android experience. But for me, Spotify and Waze are all I need and it does that just fine. Plus, it was only 100 Australian dollar bucks. So I think it's a great deal. It's worth mentioning that there are other versions of this unit available with more features and more powerful CPUs. But again, since I'm just running this Bluetooth for the two apps on my phone, this version really is perfectly adequate for my needs. Stay tuned for part 3 where I'll go over the reverse camera installation and functions and look out for further videos on the longevity of this Navifly Android Auto system. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.